Hi everyone. Today we are looking at the Ionic Abacus, which is my little tool to decide how much range I really have left uh, given a state of charge on the Ionic EV28 kilowatt hours. Over time, I've recorded a number of sessions using the OBD dongle on the Ionic, and this has allowed me to uh, get a sense of the curve of discharge on the battery, at least for my vehicle. I hope it's going to be similar to yours. I'm looking at a 40,000 miles, a bit more than 65,000 kilometers of mileage. Um, so that means there is some degradation, but not crazy degradation. Now that curve is um, repeatable in the main. And it tells me that I typically have 24 kilowatt hours that I can use, including regen. And as per what the dashboard would tell you, it uses. So it's net of all the losses, the heating losses and all that kind of stuff. Now, really for 80 to 10 percent, which is a very important measure, that might be more like 16.5 kilowatt hours, which at 120 watt hours per kilometer, would be 137 kilometers but all the way to 170 watt hours per kilometer which could be what you consume on the motorway you're looking at closer to 100 kilometers which is not very much if you look at the consistency of the measure you can see that all those different curves have been recorded in different sessions and the temperature might have been different they are not hugely different i mean there are some differences for sure i think a car that's warm uh, you actually deliver more of that energy. And that's kind of my understanding anyway. So it could be one kilowatt hours of difference, which is not small in a context where you have only 22, 23, 24 to play with really uh, before you get into uh, those final percentage points and you don't really want to go there uh, because you end up in turtle mode really. So I'm saying this is reasonably consistent Therefore, on the basis of that, what if I had a lookup table that told me that if I'm at 80% or any other number today, um, how many kilometers do I have if I know at what pace, at what efficiency I'm going? Because normally, what you don't really know in advance of the journey itself is your efficiency. It can range quite widely depending on temperature, the wind, but once you get going, you're typically going in the same direction. So the wind effect is going to be the same as the one you had 100 kilometers before. So you can somehow predict in flight what your next 100 kilometers or 200 kilometers are going to look like based on what you've just done today. And that's the main difference with just looking at your dashboard because the car has used the history of the car, maybe in the last 30 days, don't know exactly what kind of duration. And that may actually not be the right number to think about. With that in mind, what I'm sharing today is the so-called Ionic Abacus. The idea is that if you know at what efficiency you're going currently, let's say 4.5 miles per kilowatt hours, and you are at 60% currently. Well, you know that you have 54 miles left to 7.5% state of charge, which would be a good point to recharge. So that would be the amount of miles you could be driving still. But you might also want to say, look, I'm going to get to destination. I like to make sure I've got another 30 miles left. So what can I go down to? Well, you can go down to 40%. That would leave you about 32 miles. So there, there are multiple usages for uh, this table, but one of them is definitely if you are somewhere on the motorway and you know your efficiency, you just look up down that column and it tells you how much to 7.5% state of charge. You have this in miles here and you have this in kilometers. I'm going to include the link in the description. Let me know if you find this useful. Let me know if you actually use it and to what extent it's correct and whether you tweak it or whether you say like, 
of course, I don't want to be using this. It should not be that complicated. Let me know your feedback. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.